single for five years explained in five minutes. My parents will be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary in July. I've had a great example of what true love is and what true love looks like. So then why the fuck am I still single? I've been in relationships, I've been engaged, I've been married, but I am currently single and I've been single for five years years. Why? It's simple. I mean, I choose to be single. I've always had someone. One woman after another, after another, after another. Mind you, in my 20s, I was serial dating, but monogamously. I date one person at a time, but they only lasted less than three months each because I just don't take disrespect. And if you can't respect me as a person, how can you respect me as a partner? So bye-bye. And then I got older. And then I had to understand that, you know, it's okay for people to be flawed. And that's how my relationships came about. I was with two women for a year and a half each, and then my marriage was five years. But the reason why I'm choosing to be single is simple, freedom. I am free. I have no one's feelings to consider. And that's why I can make impulsive decisions and I can just up and leave whenever the fuck I feel like it, which is great for my career because I travel. I go from state to state to state to state and I don't have to explain it to anybody. I'm not against love, obviously. The ideal situation is to be in a committed, loving relationship when I am ready to do so. But after my divorce, I learned that I need to stop rushing into things and into anyone that I just catch feelings for. I have to think logically, not just with my heart. And I've learned while I'm single that I'm actually making better choices in women. Because the last woman I dated, everything I could ask for, great communicator, loving, shows affection, clear with her thoughts and what she feels and what she's thinking. Gave me the respect I needed. Always honest. And of course, I gave all that in return, but I'm not ready to commit. I still have a lot more to change. Because the last woman I dated, we moved in together still. I know, I know, y'all are probably thinking, wasn't that a relationship? No, it's different because as much as I care for her, she was not my priority. I and mean, we communicated openly about that. And that's why I was able to just up and leave. So while I'm single, I've made better choices in women. And because I didn't rush committing into a relationship, I'm already doing better with that. But the one thing I still struggle with, obviously, is moving in so quickly. This is the problem that us lesbians have. Because we're women, we're emotional beings. And we attach very easily and very quickly, which is why we tend to do things fast. So that is something that I still need to work on. And as I'm dating, I am going to practice that. And I just want to not spend too much time with these women. You get what I'm saying? Once I do get to know somebody, I want to spend all my free time with them. Why? Why am I doing this? It's because of companionship. We are human. We are not meant to be alone. Whether that's friendships, family, or relationships. We're social beings. So I can see why I do this. But then that's what creates my codependency. And I do not want to depend on anyone. So I have to practice that while I'm single so that when I do get into a committed relationship, I don't fall easily into that. Five years ain't enough time. I need more time to be single. <laughs> Give me five more years. I, I just love my freedom right now. But like I said, women are not my priority. I need to focus on my traumas, my issues, the things I need to work on to become a better person for my future partner because they deserve that as well. And I will say what makes it easier for me to remain single is the fact that I travel around the states. I'm constantly moving and that helps me so much. It doesn't give me the time to dedicate my time for just one person. It forces me to get out of the situation before I get myself into some trouble. You may think, I can still do long distance relationships. No, I cannot. No, ma'am. My love languages are quality time and physical touch. I cannot do that from across the country. My feelings will fizzle out. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna have me a good motherfucking time, enjoy my life to the fullest, and when I'm ready to commit, I will, but I don't want anything for the next five years. Let me just have my fun, let me date around, let me get to know people, but I will say, it's never how we plan it, it's however God has it planned for you. So if God brings me somebody, <laughs> then we'll see when that time comes and then I'll make another video of why I'm not single anymore. In the meantime, y'all stay tuned, watch all my motherfucking videos, and thank you for all the continued support. Peace!